Hello everyone. Today we will see how to check interferences or clashes in the assembled parts in the Katia. So let us start with the assembly design. So now we will first call that assembly that we have created and we will check the interferences between all the parts of the assembly. So just I will open this bench voice assembly. Now and so you can see that this assembly is open now. Now with this option space analysis. So I will first open this. So this is space analysis. So with this space analysis uh, we have three options here. First one is a flash, second one is a sectioning, and third one is a distance band analysis. So space analysis. Use this to check interferences or clashes between the assembly parts. So first option we have it is that is a clash. So again, this clash, sorry, this uh, clash it checks checks the clash interference and gap gap also between these. Assembly parts. Okay, so you will see this flash. So we will see the flash first. So just select the flash, and now there are different types here. So contact and flash, you can see clear clearance plus contact plus flash, you can see, and then authorized penetration, and then flash rule. So first we will see the contact flash. And if you select again between all components and then click apply, then you can see this preview in this. So it will be seen as a preview. So again, here there are options. So first is a list by config. So first it will be showing the main body and the base plate. So this is the main body and the base plate. So it is showing that this the relation between them is the contact and this value is this value means there is no interference or no clash going to happen there. So this is zero means okay. So second is is showing the main body and a voice job. Okay, now you can see from the preview that it will forming a clash there. So you can see that with this red preview so you can see that there is a clash of 8.98 and you can see the value here and also in this preview also so you need to you need to change this according to a requirement so another third one is the main main body this is the main body and this jaw screw so here also there is a contact type and is a zero clash. So similarly, the fourth one is the voice jaw. That is the voice jaw and the jaw screw. So there is a, again a forming a clash here of 1.98 mm. So this clash is forming here. So we need to again modify the part to remove these clashes because in assembly, the assembly with clashes cannot be manufacturable okay, so in software we can do that but we cannot manufacture that product okay so again there is another that is a need by product so at this related to this main body so these are all these relation with the base plate body jaw and this just so similarly it will be showing the with the base plate there is a contact and zero clash similarly with the body jaw clash 8.9 minus that is inside the body. 
Then third one is the jaw screw. Then there is a contact and zero clutch value. Similar to the base base plate with the main body zero contact. Similarly with the voice jaw, it is forming a clashing between these two bodies that is the main body and the jaw screw. And the last that is the jaw screw. So with the main main body, it is a contact that is zero clutch and with voice jaw it is forming a clash here. So again there is the third option that is the matrix we can see from the matrix that we just click on this matrix and to get a result. So just I will click on this. So it will show the main body and the base plate result. So that is the only a zero contact. If you click on this, that is the main body and this voice jaw, then it will show the so in the preview that. So it will show in the preview that there is a flash formation. So, so you can see this list by conflict, list by product, and, and the matrix you can see. So again, let's close this. Again, there is a another option that is clearance, contact, and flash. If there is a if there is any clearance available, so you can see. So now in this, we cannot see a clearance. So it will. If there is a clearance, it will show the type that is the clearance and the value. And it shows the clearance value. So, so this value means of this type and this is the value. So this is the flash value. If there is a clearance, then this will be the clearance value. Similarly, it is the authorized authorized penetration. If there is a penetration and that is authorized, then you can show that. Similarly, if you want to see the clashing between this clash or interference between the two two series selection, so if you want to see the just selection one, so select this main body and then select this voice shop, then you only get the result between these two bodies. So if you apply this you will get the result only for these two bodies. So you can see that main body and the voice body there is a flash of 8.98 mm. So in this way you can use the flash command for this space analysis. The another option is the sectioning. Second is the sectioning. So in sectioning, we create sectional cut view. Check the assembly interference. So, with the sectional sectional cut, you can check that assembly interference. Select this. Sectional section plane. Now this is a CAD product, and you can modify, you can drag this sketch plane, and you can see the preview here of the section. You can see that here, and you can drag this. So for sectioning. It is better to have all these parts a different color set. You can see that. So this is the approximate approximate method to check these clearances or clashes. So again, in that positioning there are options. So let's say the positioning by two two by three select two to three sections. So we need to select sections. So let's say I will select this edge and I will select this edge. So this will show section view between this. So you can see that there is a contact between this base plate and this main body. So there is no clash. So it is better to better visualize if you if the, all the parts have different color. So these are the options for your sectioning. 
The third one is of third one is the distance and the band analysis. Third one is distance and band analysis. With this, we can check. So there are options. I will select this between two selections. Just select. I will select this body, body one, and then select this base plate as a body two, and then click OK. So it will not it will not be showing any distance here because there is a contact. And then I will. Select these two bodies. Now I will select this body and select this body, and then click on Apply. So again, there is showing that there is a zero minimum distance between these two bodies. So there is a preview pops up. So now you can see that result here also. Similarly, I will select. This product, this product. And now I will select this, this, this. Selected the two products. So again, I will select up this is a band analysis. Select this product. Select this between two sections. And now select this product. And then click OK. Sorry. You need to just apply this. So select this body. Select this between two selection and now select these bodies and then click on apply so that there is a window comes up. So again, as this is also a part of this body, so there is again showing a zero distance here. And then click OK. So in this way, you can check the interface assembly with the space analysis. So please subscribe my channel and like my videos if you have any queries. Comment below. I will definitely try to solve each of them. So thank you. Thank you for watching.